guys, let's pull some cards. Um, I've been guided by spirit to pull some cards for Lionsgate. Like we've been going through Lionsgate for a while now, and it, the main event is tomorrow. So let's pull some some guidance today. What is the guidance that the collective needs to know about Lionsgate, and what kind of uh, energy we are going to be pulling in for ourselves? That's what the message is going to be about. What messages we need to know, and what energy is coming in for us. So this is the Six of Cups. Look at how pretty this card is. Six of Cups. This has me feeling like uh, there's memories of someone that is being let go of or coming up to the surface to be able to let go of. The King of Swords. Now, this is something that you already know that you've needed to let go of. And this is the opportunity for it to get they're saying sloughed away. So it's like you have done the work or you felt the work, you felt the energy that you needed to feel from this and you've, you've taken away the, the message and the learning from it. And now it's time to like let it go. And you know this already. You, you know this is a long time coming. This is something that had to happen. And by doing that, you're able to have this 10 of pentacles moment. Um, this is being able to let go and to receive the new that's coming in and the new that's coming in is prosperous the new that's coming in is uh, king of wands energy and this is going to help you get into your king of wands energy you're going to they're showing me or they're telling me you're going to be sitting in your throne more you're going to um, embody those characteristics of someone that is um, powerful and takes charge and uh, uses their creative their creative uh, energy for their passions and what they want to do in life. And with that being said, this brings you into even more of a fruitful energetic path is what they're saying with the emperor card. So when you are the emperor, and, and, and this can even be, they're telling me a couple things. You're going to, to harness into that king of wands energy, getting into an emperor mode, like you're feeling on top of your game, you're you're, um, they're saying you're leveling up in so many different ways that put you into this um, emperor mode. Uh, but they, they're also showing the five of wands and the six of, of swords. They're letting you know, like, don't fight yourself. Don't push yourself back with limiting beliefs. Don't stop yourself from what is, is coming. There's so much leveling up and so much power, you may not be used to the energy that's coming in. And I think that's what why they keep showing this um, Five of Wands and the, the Six of Swords. There's you're, you're moving away from harder times. You're moving into, they're saying, grand new ventures. They want you to sail into that because you are in the boat of the Six of Swords. So let's see the eight of wands i want you to take a moment take a breath know how powerful you are the empress is on the bottom i'm sorry the queen of wands is on the bottom so this is a counterpart a divine counterpart is coming in they can't come in if you don't allow them to come in remember i said you you're in a receiving mode don't pinch yourself off from your receiving mode you want those messages you want um, to call in that energy right i mean if you don't then, then there's that right there's that aspect they're wanting you to get grounded get centered and by this being here you will you're going to get grounded with this ace of pentacles and with this um with this Hanged man, you are getting into that mode of surrender. They are asking you to surrender by tomorrow. They're almost going like, please surrender by tomorrow. If you want your big things to come in, you have to be willing to surrender, harness the energy, call it in for your highest and best good. Walk away from that junk. That's what they're saying. Walk away from that crap. You don't need it anymore. Where you're going is so much better. Who's coming in is so much better. 
it keeps showing that you are holding on so tightly to the old ways, to the old memories. It's time to call in your, your. Um, they're saying call in your hierophant, but what they mean is call in your person, call in your, um, big things come with, with the hierophant, right? Like what? Like marriage, like, um, they're saying stability in, in a good way, in a devotional way. They want you to harness and step back into that um, um, King of Cups energy. They want you to be able to allow yourself to receive the biggest blessings that are coming for you. They're like, okay, they're showing me a door. Literally, all you gotta do, to, all you gotta do is open the door, and it's literally right there. They're saying the shades are getting lifted, and all you have to do is step through the door. That's it. That's the type of surrender they're talking about. Literally, it's 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 like so easy, it's hard. Does that make sense? Everything is a mindset. So if you can take the, the, the pain and the hurt from the old thing that, that you're trying to let go of and just say, thanks for being here. Thanks for showing me what I didn't want, what I don't need in my life and how I can close that door and walk through the other one. Think of it in your mind. Like think of that person or that situation and the door being a certain color and close that certain color. Like they're showing me for an example, the hurt goes in the red door, close the red door. Now what does the good thing look like? Maybe it looks like the green door. Open the green door and go in. Close one, walk into another. It's that easy and they're going, it's that easy, it's that easy. But what's not easy is our frame of mind. But <laughs> Spirit just wants you to, to just try. They're like, it, it, from right now till tomorrow push the door closed a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more until tomorrow when you're able to slam that shit shut is what they said because they want you to rampage through the other one and tomorrow um, we'll be back with another message and see how things have changed for you and see if things have leveled up for you and if you were able to change that and close that door in that chapter. Have a good day.